everybody and welcome back to Yoho Yoho Vlogger Life for Me vlog. I'm um, sorry my cat just jumped in my lap. He wanted to say hi. This is Pacey. And some new things going on at Disney World. Epcot has now received electrical car charging stations that are now open. And they are in front of the journey lot and the cost is 35 cents per hour in a minimum charge of $1.50. And first come first first come first serve for these and you can either pay by credit card or char your charge point account so that's exciting news for anybody who has that kind of car and unfortunately this sunrise safari at Disney's Animal Kingdom is going to be discontinued the last um, safari will be on December 28th if you want to take advantage of that you have to stay concierge level at the Animal Kingdom Lodge and you just ask your concierge to set that up for you and unfortunately the American Idol experience is going to be permanently closed the last day is August 30th so if you're there before then and you enjoy the show um, try to see it before then and this week for the Memory Maker, they rolled out a new incentive. It's basically a Tower of Terror video of you and your family um, going through the ride and seeing your drop. Um, I watched a sample video. It was pretty cute, um, but I don't know if it make me buy the uh, Memory Maker. It just depends on how long you're staying and all that. And this week, I wanted to talk about um, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. I went for the first time in 2012, and um, that season is coming up, and I thought I would do a review. And you can get in the park, but at 4 o'clock, even though the party doesn't technically start until 7, you can go in early at 4 o'clock. That's what we did when we went. Um, you just show them your paper ticket. I just printed them off the internet and um, they'll give you your bracelet and let you come in. Actually, we went in early and we checked in later over by P Pirates of the Caribbean and they had people with scanners and there was an issue with mine. It took them five minutes, but they figured it out. And adults and children can dress in costume, just nothing vulgar or promiscuous <laughs> at Disney. And they have these stands all over the park when we were there. It was a picture of a candy corn, and that's where you knew um, were the trick-or-treaters or you could get candy. And they gave out um, trick-or-treater bags as soon as you walked in as well. And at this event, they have special popcorn buckets. I got one when I was there. It's a cute Mickey Mouse as a ghost. I'll post a picture. I'll post pictures of uh, my experience when I was there. And they have special cupcakes and cookies and apples and t-shirts and all sorts of cool merchandise that you can only get at the party. And as soon as you get there, when you walk in the front main entrance to Magic Kingdom, there's a PhotoPass photographer, and they take your picture in front of the train station and stuff right out front of the Magic Kingdom with all the flowers and stuff. And you also, when we were there, we took a picture next to Sleepy Hollow and in front of the Haunted Mansion. I won't say what they did, but they did add some magic aspects into our pictures. And I personally am not a huge parade fan. Um, I don't really care for the uh, Christmas party parade. Um, I saw it once, I thought it was okay, but I absolutely love the Halloween party um, parade. You cannot miss it. It's really, really, really cool. And I don't want to give away too many spoilers if you haven't seen it before, but it is truly an amazing parade and you have to see it. And there are no refunds. When I went, it was super, super, it was downpoured. When we were at Epcot, I was worried that the party was going to be rained out. Um, but there are no refunds, and they don't change dates or anything. So you're just kind of rolling the dice when you pick your date when you're going. Um, luckily, it just lightly rained for a little bit, and then it stopped. Um, they had both of the fireworks shows and the parades. I know the night before mine... Um, they did cancel both of the fireworks, and I think they only had a late parade, and that was it. Um, but unfortunately, they won't refund or anything. And let's see. 
for the villain meet and greet that they have, I, when we went, it was utter chaos. They had like no line cues to going to who. It was utter chaos. People were elbowing. I didn't like it at all. I just gave up and I walked away because I just didn't want to deal with it. And we went to go do other things and go on on attractions. And I was starting sick that day anyway, so it was our very last day in the park. And yeah, we just didn't want to deal with that. And the park is decorated so beautiful. I love Halloween. We personally got married on Halloween. That's when our first date was. Um, but there's cute pumpkins everywhere. It, they do such a great job with um, decorating for Christmas and Halloween. So I highly recommend that. You get lots of great pictures. And Mickey and Minnie are in special costumes. When we went, they were pirates I think when we went I think she was a princess and he was a pirate for pirates and princess um what we when we went to see Mickey and Minnie there was like no line so we didn't have to wait at all but we did it right before we were leaving at like 11 30 and what else there's tons of characters all over the park it's not just the villains that you can take pictures with they play the best music um, in the park for Halloween too, they had music from Peter Pan. They had everything. I know a lot of people buy the soundtrack for the Halloween um, party, but it's such a great time. Um, when we did the party, we ate at Liberty Tree Tavern first. I think our reservation is was at like 4:35, and then by the time we were finished eating, the party started, and. When we walked outside, we noticed that the parade was starting in like 10 minutes and we we're in the perfect spot. Nobody was there. And so we had a really great view outside of Liberty Tavern for um, the parade to start. And we didn't have to wait that long, so that was a plus. So if that's something you want to do, definitely do that at Liberty Tree Tavern. We love that place. We've been the past two trips um, for dinner. And... I think that's it for my notes. Um, I'll post a bunch of pictures to this video so you can see what a great time we have. We didn't bring any kids with us or anything. It was just adults. Not all of the attraction attractions are open. It's mostly just the most popular ones. But it was awfully humid and hot the week that we were there. I think we were there like the week of the 15th of October. It can get very, very humid and it rained a lot, I will say, the week that we were there. So definitely go to the Dollar Tree and buy ponchos and bring them with you so you don't have to buy like $15 ponchos. That's the one tip I will say if you go in October. And if you guys have any questions or comments, email me or leave a comment below. Thanks and remember to subscribe. Bye!